Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends Fantastic Four Classic Retro Carded Fire Lord, which I have to say, these Fantastic Four packages, they might even be better than the Spider-Man ones. They look nice. If you're gonna buy these figures and keep them on the card, these are right up your alley. They look wonderful. Uh, the Deadpool one was also really nice. But the figures, I, well, some of you, a lot of you told me this figure should have been on the bottom 10 list this year, and I hadn't reviewed it yet, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm as harsh against it as you guys seem to be, though. We'll see. There's some stuff about it that's not so bad. I don't know. Let's get it off the stand and take a closer look. Before, before we get into the rest of the review, I do want to mention on the packaging, a lot of people ask me, how do I always get my carded figures out of the package without destroying it? And I just cut a flap at the bottom. That's it. It doesn't really matter the shape. They're all different shapes nowadays. You just cut right here, right here, and then along the bottom wherever it's, it needs to be cut. These parts don't need it right here at the ends. So right here and here, right here, and right here. And then you have a flap. And if you're gonna set it on a shelf, you'll never know that it's been opened. If you're gonna hang it, you still probably won't notice. You could throw some tiny clear tape on the corners just to hide it, but the, the thing's not falling out because they're always shaped some way. So if you put a little bit of clear tape just on the very edges, you would never know that it had been opened. That's how I do it. I do that just so that I have something to show you guys because I throw these packages away. But people ask me, so now you know. If you didn't already know, now you do. Okay. I am on, I'm not on medicine, but I'm still sick and I, I just can't brain well. So I'm gonna probably repeat myself and things like that. But let's go ahead and get into it. This guy stands about 16 centimeters to the where the top of his head would be at another, yeah, almost a whole other centimeter for the hair. And that's gonna make him just about, we'll say six and three eighths and then uh, about six and three quarters overall. It's the same body we've seen about a billion times at this point. And it's, a, it's an appropriate body for the character. The body still has the same flaws it always has had. The low shoulders really ruin it. The weird chest ruins it. The thigh gap, things like that ruin it. But I think it's an appropriate build for the character. Honestly, if he had bigger shoulders, that would probably be enough just to make it look good enough. Here he is up against Darwin. And they're about the same size, roughly speaking. So, let's talk about this guy. After we do a question of the day, were you excited for a Fire Lord figure and are you disappointed that it's not better? And you can answer those in any combination you want. For me, I didn't really care. It's a cool enough character design, so what the heck? Add another Galactus figure, why not? And I wasn't expecting much, and I got very little, so I'm not really disappointed, but uh, I would have liked a better one, as is usually the case with Marvel Legends. So let's talk about the aesthetic. I have to say, I'm not sure, I don't understand why everybody's hating on this figure so much. There are a few specific things that are terrible, but for Marvel Legends standards, I, it's, it's at least fine. The paint job's not bad. It could be better, but the V around his neck, for instance, that's pretty sharp, that's pretty clean. The fire on the arms, not perfect, but not bad. The white around the belt is not bad. The yellow down here, it's okay. The oranges are fairly consistent where they're painted or not painted. The boot fire, also not bad. Like it's, it's way better than binary. Was it binary? Yeah, binary was bad, I think. It's way better than that. The orange parts, which would be his flesh, if you want to call it flesh, are relatively matte finish. The yellow is a little bit glossy. I think it looks not bad. The fire on the head could definitely look better, but for Marvel Legends standards, it's all right. It's okay, it looks a little bit like Lion-O. Uh, the eyebrows are a little bit heavy, I think, but the face, the glowing eyes, I think it's fine. Like, it's still bad for what it could have been, but for Marvel Legends, it's, it's like, it's way better looking than a lot of Marvel Legends, so I'm not 100% sure why people are, seem to be upset about this guy. At least as far as the aesthetics go. I think it's okay. Um, I'll give it a... For Marvel Legends, an 8 out of 10 for the aesthetic. The base body needs to be reworked, but what makes this figure unique is done pretty well. Huh. Okay, now as far as accessories go, we have the two fist hands that come on them in the package. We get the two gripping hands. It's the same gripping hands we've seen about a million times, and they still suck. They're horrible. Uh, they do have fingernails on them. I don't know if he should or shouldn't how much of him is, he's got boots on that look like, I'm, I'm assuming they're gloves, he should have no fingernails. Anyway, they suck at holding his stick of fire, and the fire on the stick doesn't look as good as the fire on the head, but it's acceptable. Again, for Marvel Legends standards, it's passable, but he can't hold it because the hands suck. 
um, and the fire the stick is relatively heavy so that's not good so accessory wise five out of ten but the fact that they gave us the fire stick I think that's I mean it's relatively well done but he can't hold it at least with one hand effectively so that blows so maybe that's why people hate this figure I don't know but as long as you hold it in two hands, it's not that bad. And people make concessions like that for Marvel Legends all the time. So again, I'm just not sure where the... Maybe maybe it's just a few vocal people that don't like it. I don't know. But so far, it seems like on par for Marvel Legends at least. All right, let's talk about the articulation. The head, definitely a lollipop. But you can kind of sink it down. And if you want him to be in like a flight pose or some kind of pose like that, he can do it pretty well. He looks down nicely. Also, I think the face sculpt is pretty good. I like it. Looks to the side, no problem. Little bit of attitude, not a ton. Should still be a double ball peg, but it's okay. Butterfly joints still work well on this body, so I'll give it that. Tiny shoulders are tiny, but they function well. So again, uh, it's for Marvel Legends, it's fine. Bicep swivel is okay. Bubbly arms, still bubbly, but the articulation was never really a problem. Though the elbows could be a lot better. This guy does have crap elbows. Wrists have a swivel and a hinge, who cares. Ab crunch does make him pregnant, but it does lean back. It also leans forward nicely, I'll give it that. Waist twist is a waist twist. Thighs go, or hips go forward, but out to the side just a bit, but they do make it to horizontal, no real range going back. Going out to the side almost splits, so that's fine. Your thigh swivel is all right. Double jointed knee seems to work no problem, definitely disproportion. Way bigger lower leg than it should be, and the feet are humongous but your range is okay. You get your boot swivel if you like it. Ankle rocker or ankle hinge goes all the way back and far enough forward and you get a decent ankle rocker. So yeah, this body's never been terrible at articulation. It could be better, but it's fine. So I'll give the articulation for Marvel Legends an eight. It's it's gonna get in the poses you want. And so final verdict on this guy. I If there's a general consensus that it's not good for Marvel Legends standards, I don't see it. For Marvel Legends standards, it is pretty good, actually. I would say it's better than most. It has more paint. It is nice and saturated and vibrant. Maybe overly done, but I would rather it be more colorful than less. Most Marvel Legends are boring as hell these days. I'll take something that looks like a highlighter exploded. He's, he's a fire person. Let him be colorful on the shelf. I'm okay with it. I'm going to give it a final rating of 8 out of 10. For Marvel Legends... It still has a ton of flaws like usual, but it looks pretty darn good. It has some, a, at least a decent accessory. So yeah, I wouldn't have put this guy anywhere near the bottom 10 list. He might've even made it in the bottom part of the top 10 list. I think he looks pretty darn good. So let me know, did you guys think it was bad or did I just see a few comments and those stuck out in my mind? I don't know, but I think it's all right. So there it is guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you haven't subscribed, you should. I have new videos almost every single day and thousands already on the channel. So make sure you come back for all of that. In the meantime, keep collecting.